the craziest drum solo ever. Let's see here. Ooh, Eric and Prada. <laughs> yeah, this will be crazy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so he did something so fantastic there. He starts in an unexpected way. All too often with drum solos as drummers, we think that our biggest tool is speed. And he starts off just, it just throws the audience for a loop by standing on his head, which if you've ever seen Eric play with Fever 333 or any of his other bands, you can see that that's just kind of part of his style. I saw Mark Giuliano one time start a, um, a drum solo at a clinic and he started it he didn't even announce he was coming on stage. He just started playing as softly as possible and people had to get quiet. And it took about a minute, but they finally got quiet. So it's a great tool to, to use something like that at the beginning of a solo to catch the attention of the, of the audience. And then he starts with dynamics low. I like it. Goes right back down again, gets loud and back down. <laughs> I was waiting for the stick clips. I like it. <laughs> okay, so we've got this intro section where he starts it like, you, you, what in the world is happening? Then he goes into a, a down section, brings that back up. So he's playing with dynamics. He's using something besides speed, although he's throwing some of that stuff in there. Eric is a great example of a drummer that is just as concerned with the showmanship of a show because when you go to a live event, you want to be entertained. That's like why we go. But he's also an extremely technical drummer, an incredible player. And so he mixes those, and that's what we see him doing right here. Fantastic use of grabbing the listener's attention at the beginning, then dynamics going up and down, making it kind of an emotional ride for him. And now he's putting in some, some little tricks. He's also playing with tonal areas. Areas. So playing with uh, juxtaposing loud drums with the very soft hit of a of a of a stick against the edge of a cymbal. I like this. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Call and response. God, speed are crazy. So this is everything you want in a live solo, right? What I love there is he's using a lot of storytelling elements. So he had a call and response moment there. You can also use something like the storyteller's uh, rule of three. Uh, so call and response would be he played something on the snare, responded to it with the bass drum, played something on the snare, responded to it with the bass drum. He's also doing a type of a call and response with the dynamics at the beginning there. So he's getting very loud and then getting very soft. Very soft. Dynamics are one of the most underutilized tools that we as drummers have. You should be using them. If you're going into a solo and they were just at this huge loud section, you saw what he did at the beginning. He did something shocking and then he brought the volume way down, immediately juxtaposing those against each other. <laughs> I cannot, I can't throw the sticks like that. Oh, I didn't even see the pad there. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the different sections that we've got so far. We have the intro, where it was kind of a shocking, he's on his head, and then he comes in, and we have a section at the beginning where he's playing with dynamics putting a little bit in there just to, as flash, but playing with dynamics. Then we go into a section where he's playing with some stick tricks, things like that, go into a call and response section with his uh, bass drum and snare drum. And now after building it to a climax, he brings it back down by a complete tonal shift by in incorporating the octopad here and 
playing with some things melodically. But that he didn't leave it there. He immediately came in with this double bass groove that is that is like up there. So it's I love his use of dynamics and his use of tension and release in this. The snare drum says something. What does it say? <laughs> I like it. What's it say? Listen to night verses. <laughs> Is it back down? A little bit of modulation there. He's still playing with that same theme, slowing it down. The thing that makes this section so powerful is that he has built to it, right? He had that melody and he started playing with it. He started slowing it down, speeding it up, messing around with it. And then he, of course, great showmanship, just a scream, and then goes into this hard hitting section that I've actually been waiting for. Oh, a little bit of samba there. Great showman, crossing the arms. <laughs> this, is, this is definitely a crazy show. Wait a second, did somebody just come up and grab his shoulder? Who was that? Hold up, hold up. That comes up, hits him. <laughs> yeah, signature move. I love it. The showmanship is so great. It's everything I want from a solo. <laughs>